from one storm to the next. Mother Nature not wasting any time. David, Paul, a new spot in the Gulf we have to watch now. Back to back Gulf systems. That's what we're watching. We're still tracking six total systems across the Atlantic Basin. Paulette's actually now dissipating as it heads toward the uh, British Isles. Teddy's a strong hurricane, but heading for open water in the Gulf of Mexico. Well, Sally, who came out of the Gulf, is now bringing a rainy night to Atlanta, Georgia. They've got a flash flood watch in effect there, but it's going to be exiting here pretty soon. That's our new spot, although we've been watching it for several days. Today it really leapt up as far as its chances for development. Hurricane Center now gives it a 70% chance for development. Let's take a look at the surface wind forecast across the Gulf of Mexico. Here's where we stand right now, and you can see how the winds curly cue counterclockwise rotation around areas of low pressure. That's the wraparound of what's left of Sally. It's now a depression. And notice down here in the southern Gulf, there is no wraparound, no closed low at the surface yet. But watch what happens as we go forward in time going into Friday. Yeah, there it is. Closed low, a very broad closed low, which indicates it won't be very intense, but that could close off a low pressure area and give us a tropical depression. At the same time, this is trying to develop. We'll have an added complication moving in. That will be this cold front at the surface. Now it's not going to bring in cold air. It is going to blow through Houston on Friday increase our north wind and bring in much lower humidity. So we're going to have a beautiful weekend here in Houston. This is Sunday. And we're still looking at the possibility of something trying to form out here, although by Sunday the surface winds look to be an elongated trough rather than a closed tight circulation. So something just kind of brewing out here over the weekend. Now quite often this time of the year these fronts just push on through and they lift and block and deflect those low pressure areas up the east coast. But this time computers suggest that the front's going to wash out and back up and as it does so it's going to open a little gap for whatever is trying to form out here to perhaps move back to the west. Now this latest computer run of the American model, the GFS, puts a low pressure area here over the west central gulf down near Brownsville. Even in a spot like that, that could send in a lot of moisture. You can see the rain possibilities already building in, especially south of I-10 in the Houston area. This is Tuesday. And again, there's an added degree of uncertainty because it's a developing system. We're changing seasons. The computers have trouble this time of the year. That added front coming in. It's just one of those that we're just going to have to watch moment to moment like we often do. So over the weekend, make sure you watch the weather at least once a day and download the app. Turn on notifications. We constantly update that with tropical updates, especially when we've got a system kind of brewing in the Gulf. It was a beautiful day and a beautiful evening out at Minute Maid Park. You can see on this time lapse that wind coming out of the north, north to south. So that northerly breeze continues out there and that has brought in all this pollen and as everybody sneezing, elm pollen's way up there. Ragweed's at 109. Both those values doubled from yesterday. A few little drippy scattered showers continue across southeast Texas and out toward Columbus. There's a little disturbance out here over northern Mexico. It's right in the upper level flow. That's going to come in here tomorrow and that will increase our chances for a scattered thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon as well. So here's the extended. I think we start in the morning nice and quiet, but by noon into the afternoon, it's a 50% chance for thunderstorms, and that's the highest rain chance we've had all week. Friday's a slight chance for a scattered storm, and then it's lower humidity and a beautiful weekend, and we'll keep an eye on the tropic as we go into early next week. Guys, back to you. Lower humidity is coming. Yeah. Thanks, David.